It's another Book Monday in the semester review. This time it is American literature. The first book we read are The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Wah, wah. Mark Twain is such a fun author. This book is one you should read, but it's not one you should read the abridged version to or the edited version of because in those versions they take out a lot of the political incorrectness that makes this book. Number two, The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway. Woo! I would recommend this book. It's not my favorite thing by Hemingway, but I definitely think people treat Hemingway a lot worse than he is. He is not nearly as hard or as taxing as people seem to think he is. This is something we only read parts out of. It's the portable Harlem Renaissance Reader. It's almost 780 pages, so that's a lot of pages. I haven't read the whole thing. We mostly focused on the poetry, but I definitely like the poetry in this, so I would recommend at least reading some poetry from the, from the Harlem Renaissance. The next one is A River Runs Through It. I recommend this only if you like fishing. If you don't, you're not going to like this at all. I know nothing about fishing, and this book was very long. Another book that we read only in part is The Vintage Book of Contemporary American Poetry. Americans really like confessional poetry as opposed to the styles of earlier generations. While you might not necessarily be able to get as many meanings out of American poetry as you can, say, British poetry, that's not to say that it isn't challenging to read in its own right. So I would read it. This is probably my least favorite book of the semester. It's Jazz by Toni Morrison. The reason I didn't like it is I was completely apathetic towards every single character in the book the entire time. I know a lot of people who were completely moved by Violet and Joe Trace or the story of Dorcas, but I was just apathetic. I couldn't care less what happened to them or what was going on. I'm actually a little bit upset I didn't like this book because Toni Morrison is the only living winner of the Nobel Peace Prize in Literature, and I really wanted to like this, but I just couldn't. This would probably be considered the most controversial piece we read in American literature. This is Angels in America. It's about the AIDS epidemic in the 1980s, which means this play deals with homosexuality, and for some reason people find that issue very difficult. For most of the people in this class, this book wasn't an issue at all. The hardest part about this book for us was just trying to imagine what was actually happening because this is a very surreal play in the setup. And that's all for American literature. I will be back next week with Shakespeare.